Okay? So that's legs. Okay? The next step is your core. Okay? Um, in a lot of ways, your core is actually even more important than your legs. Because there are a lot of times when you will like be moving and you won't be able to pivot with your legs. Mm -hmm. That means that to compensate for that, you're going to have to add extra power in using your core. Okay. Okay? So the I've way we, 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 we work out our core is um, either you can do two things. Um, you can get a stool or a chair and you sit down in your chair. Okay? This prevents you from moving your legs or your hips. You're going to turn 45 degrees offline. And then I'm going to rotate and strike, recover, rotate and strike to come to the other direction. So this, the other way to do it is you get on your knees, okay? And especially when you, you practice fighting from your knees, you have to use your core right. because you don't have your legs to develop power. So again, I'm, my, my legs are square to my target, okay? I'm turning 45 degrees offline. Strike, recover, strike, recover, strike, recover, strike. You should start feeling a little burn in your lower back and core. Uh -huh. That's good. Okay. okay. Right now, um, these are muscles you probably haven't used a lot, uh -huh. but they are going to be the things that you. So they're going to get tired. Just because you get tired, though, doesn't mean you're doing it wrong, right? There are a lot of times when you'll sit there and go, "This just doesn't feel right." This just it doesn't feel right because you haven't developed the muscles yet that you need to be able to throw that shot. Right. Okay. So there is, that is basically your core. Um, and doing that, I can't, the, the, the amount of power you get, you develop from your core is very, very important. Okay. 